Yo, what's going on, gambling YouTube and my fellow DJs? It is I, the Gale, back at it again with another prize picks and NBA betting video. First look. Um, okay, so let's look at yesterday's action like we like to do. So, not too good of a day. I think I lost about a hundred, right? Um, let's see, let's see. I made a I made a same game uh parlay here. Siakam fell short. Uh, Nas Reed got in foul trouble early, fell short. Gary Trent fell short by 1-3, of course. Uh, same here, Embiid fell short. Nas Reed got in foul trouble for me. DeAndre Aiden went off, though. Uh, Malcolm Brogdon hit. I can't believe Gary Trent. He, he fell short at 27.4. His fantasy points was 28.5. That would have been $200, of course. Thank you, Gary Trent, for absolutely nothing. Uh, once again, Jalen Brown fell short. But good thing I made a flex play. Like I said, I was going to start making flex plays because I keep missing by one. So I need something back. So I got $10 on top of my 20. Could have won 100 if Jalen Brown came through. Should have played Tatum. And like I said, I broke my own rule, right? Uh, as I said before in a previous video, I don't like to play players coming back from injury because sometimes they could be rusty. They could be on a minutes limit. They could just uh, have a bad game or get re-injured. So I should have played Tatum. Hindsight, obviously, but whatever. Is what it is. I got my 30 back. Um, Gary Trent fell short again. This would have been like 100 or something like that. $115. He fell just short. I mean, come on, man. I mean, like every day. Um, and then I played the early early game, the um, the Bulls Paris game, Pistons game. I made this a flex play. Jaden Ivy fell just short of his assists. He needed one more. It couldn't come through. So I got my 30 back, or I got $10 on top of my 20. But that's basically how my day went yesterday. So. Let's hop into today's action, and we're going to go to the DraftKings Sportsbook so we can look at which games we might want to hone in and target for today's slate. So let's do that. Any any minute. Any minute now. There we go. All right, so uh, the Pelicans-Orlando game has a one-point spread, 228 total. I kind of like that. So I'm thinking CJ, he should go off versus the Orlando Magic. And then on the Magic, I think CJ and Najee Marshall, those are the two that I, I kind of like. I like Vucevic too, but he's kind of random. He's uh, not the most reliable or consistent. And then on the Orlando side, maybe Markel Fultz. And um, yeah, that's about it, if anything. Uh, the Knicks, two-point spread, 2.5 spread, 228 total. Julius Randle, of course, this should be a great game to target. Julius Randle, uh, Mitchell Robinson is now out for like three weeks with a with a broken thumb or something like that. Uh, Jalen Brunson, of course, so those two. Maybe a little R.J. Barrett points, maybe. And then, um, and then whatchamacallit, we got uh, Trey Young, DeJounte Murray. Those two should uh, be good to target. And then maybe John Collins, and that's about it. Uh, the Heat game, Dallas Mar Mavericks Heat, or Dallas Mavericks Heat, yeah. We got Luka Doncic, of course. He, 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 um, he became human last game, but... You know, we can forgive Luka every once in a while. You know, all these players are prone to fail at some point. Nobody runs hot forever. So we'll forgive Luka for the last game, and he, I'm sure he'll come through for the Heat. And then on the, on the Heat side, maybe Bam out of bio. Uh, I think Christian Wood is out too. So Bam out of bio, we can attack Dallas with uh, Bam for sure. And then Jimmy Butler maybe, and Tyler Hero's in a good spot. So uh, we'll go to the Cavs and Warriors. I think I'm going to stay off this game. The Warriors played yesterday, and the Cavs have good defense. So this is a game I don't think I want to target personally. Clippers, Spurs. Uh, we can always attack the Spurs, but we need to know who is going to be playing for the Clippers. Is it Kwai? Is it going to be PG-13? Is it going to be either? Ne neither, right? Who knows with the Clippers, man? I don't like play I don't like the Clippers these days. But uh, the Spurs, I, I don't attack the Spurs either, so I'm going to leave this game alone. A nice high total, though. Uh, we got the Pacers Nuggets. We can attack. We can use Jokic always. Um, TJ McConnell failed us last game, but I think he'll have a bounce back game today. Um, who else? Jamal Murray, of course, and that's about all I'm liking. Brooklyn Nets, 229 total. Kyrie has been a bum as of late. I don't know what's gotten into him or gotten out of him or whatever, but I'm off of Kyrie until further notice. Um, but we can't attack Seth Curry. Seth has been uh, uh, coming through for the team and then maybe a little bit Ben Simmons assistant rebounds maybe if he doesn't get ejected right oh man Ben Simmons come on bro uh but anyway um 
and Nick Claxton for sure. And then we got Laurie Markinen on the other side. Uh, we like Laurie Markinen, and then that's about it. Clarkston is Clarkston is hit or miss. And then we got OKC Thunder, a great game environment that we want to target. 241 uh, total points, three points, five spread. We got Fox. If Sabonis plays, we got Sabonis. I don't think he'll play, though, so definitely De'Aaron Fox. And then we got Josh Giddy on the other side. We got uh, Shea Gill, just of course, and then maybe a little Jalen Williams, J-A-L-E-N Williams, maybe. And then the last game, we got Grizzlies, Lakers, 243 total, nice, decent spread, 7.5. John Morant, uh, Jaron Jackson Jr., Steven Adams, Desmond Bain. You know, you could pick any of those guys. And then the Lakers side, you got LeBron and Westbrook and maybe a little Thomas, the Tank Engine, Bryant. So, yeah, those are the guys you want to target that I'm thinking of off the bat. Just looking at the um, just looking at the, the total points and spreads. Let's go to Line Star real quick and see who is in an actual a good spot. Let's check it out physically or visually. Let's see who's in a good spot today. Okay, Steven Adams in the late night hammer game. He's in a great spot. He'll probably get like 18 rebounds, 15 to 18 rebounds. Uh, we got Jokic, uh, Joe Val and Zubac is in a great spot, but I'm not, I don't, I'm not liking them too much today. And okay, so let's go to power forward. We got Julius Randle in the best possible position he could be in. We gonna play some Julius Randle today. He'll have a bounce back game from last game. Uh, Jalen Williams, like I called out, he's in a great spot today. John Collins, uh, Aaron Gordon, eh. But Najee Marshall, I called him out. Let's get it. Okay. And let's go to shooting forward, small forward. Uh, not too many small forwards. We don't like to attack this position anyway, because most most of the time these guys all these guys do is score, right? Like they're they're not even by the rim. You know, they're either just trying to score. It's hit or miss for the uh small forwards. Shooting guard, Kyrie Irving. We're not playing him until he shows us something better. Uh, Tyler Hero's in a good spot versus the De versus the Mavs. Uh, we got Jordan Poole. He just played yesterday, though. Uh, he could play a decent game again. We got Herter in a great spot. He's hit or miss as well. And then we got DeJounte Murray. So, And then last but not least, we got point guard. John Morant is in the best possible spot he could be in. So might want to attack Jaw today if he's uh, good to go. We got Jamal Murray, 28th. He's good. To, he's good. Luka Doncic is Luka, Luka is Luka. And then... Um, that's all we got. So with that, let's go to prize picks and see what's currently available and maybe make a pick or two. All right. Okay. So we, ooh, look at that. It don't get better than that, right? We got 98% off Luca the Don Doncic. That's a free square, right? So I don't know if I want to save that for later. We got 10 hours until this goes away. So maybe we'll save that one for later. But uh, let's see what they got. Let's go to points. Rebounds and assists. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, Julius Randle, like I said, we're going to go to Julius Randle for sure. For sure. Um, yeah, let's go to Jokic versus Indiana. I like that. Jokic has been coming through for the team lately. Josh Giddy has been on one. Uh, I like Josh Giddy fantasy points, though, because he came through with the fantasy points when his PRA failed last time. So, But we'll go John Morant. We'll go John Morant. He's in a great spot. And um, let's see, let's see. Steven Adams, where's he at? Yep. And that's going to be the first look pick of the day. Julius Randle, PRA over. Jokic, PRA over. Morant, PRA over. Steven Adams, PRA over. We'll make a, we'll make this a flex play because I'm tired of losing by one. So we'll make that a flex play. And that's that. So if you like these picks, let me know. Um... You know, feel free to mix and match. Feel free to wait for more players to come on the board. Sometimes it pays to lock in a, a better two early just to get ahead of possible bumps. But, um, yeah, this has been a first look video. Maybe I'll make a second video. I'm not sure. I know people have been asking me to make a Discord. I got to look into it. I've, I've been on Discord for a while. I just never really had an interest in, in um, you know, managing one. But we'll see. You know, we'll see. But, uh, yeah, once again, thank you for watching the video if you liked it like and subscribe to the channel and um yeah man uh let's cash today peace